Here we are for the, the fishing report for today. It's uh, July 17th, I believe. So we're already halfway and a little more through July. Uh, I'm in the same stream that I was at last week uh, for a couple reasons. One is uh, there's wildfires everywhere right now. And there's a lot of places that are actually closed because of the wildfires. And again, you know, like last week, the water temps are really high down low. A lot of rivers have hoot owl closures, so uh, you can't fish after 2 p.m. But I was looking at some temperature readings on the USGS website the other day, and there are some rivers that aren't even getting below 70 degrees. So even though they have hoot owl, they're not cooling off at night, which is really hard on the fish. And I read in the paper this morning, there's even rivers like the Bitterroot and a couple other rivers over on the western side of the state they are actually having fish kills because the water is so warm. So just be careful where you fish and what time of day you fish so you're not stressing the fish out. Um, that's why I picked this river. It's a, up in the mountains, so it's still cool. Uh, it took a water temperature today. It was 52 degrees, which is a great temperature for the fish, uh, kind of right in the middle of where they like to be. Uh, the difference from last week is the water is down a lot. It was the main stem of this river was about 400 CFS. Uh, yesterday it was only about 200 CFS and this little tributary of it fell by about the same percentage by almost half it looks like. So it made uh, fishing a little interesting today. Oops, sorry about my glove. Um, partly because it, uh, it moved the fish around where they wanted to be. Uh, really had to poke around this morning to finally find some fish. Um, I was getting them here and there and then finally found a couple runs that had enough water that they stacked up in. Um, I also tried out my new rod. Uh, I had a friend build me, I got a, a CTS Affinity X 10 foot, three, uh, 10 foot 6 3 weight. Um, a really well high rated uh, Euro nymphing rod. Uh, I had him put on this carbon fiber grip with a carbon fiber butt. So one, it looks pretty cool on this uh, gray blank. Um, I didn't realize it was, it was glossy when I ordered it. That's the only thing I would change about it. But um, this carbon fiber grip really increases the sensitivity of the rod. Uh, took me a little bit to get used to the casting between that and my 10 foot three weight. Uh, but once I got it down, it, it works just fine. Um, it's as far as playing fish, it's a little stiffer than the, the 10 foot, but uh, the sensitivity of this rod with uh, combined with that grip is really good. Um, I'm running a, about an 18 foot liter of eight pound amnesia, the, the bright yellow, and then about two feet of the Cortland uh, two-tone indicator uh, mono, and then about uh, about a little over four and a half, almost five feet to my fl uh, bottom fly, and then about four feet to uh, the top fly. I've been running a stone fly uh, and a caddis fly, or a stone fly and a stone fly, because there's all kinds of stone flies in these mountain streams, along with caddis. Even saw some caddis hatching. Um, like I said, the fishing got, uh, it was a little slow to start with, but uh, started getting a white fish, caught a couple browns, caught a rainbow, even caught a Yellowstone cutthroat, which I've never caught in this stretch before. I know they're up high in the mountain, if you go way far up in, on this little stream, um, and way up high on the main stem of this stream. Uh, but overall, great day. Tried out a new rod, uh, worked really well. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video.